Could I just ask yes or no? Close Guantanamo? Yes, but doesn't address the key point, which is what do we do? Yes, for symbolic reasons, but we still have the Implicit problem. Implicit in my case. question is that we figure yeah. out what to do yes. with the, the detainees that are there. Yes. Mr. Korn. If we figure out what to do with the detainees, then yes. Wouldn't, wouldn't you, uh, I, my time has expired, but wouldn't it just be an act of courage on the part of the Congress to find a place to put them and, and designate it? I mean, it's not that it's rocket science. I, I agree, Senator. Mr. Goldsmith. Senator, I think that really does turn on the alternative in the United States, because some people confuse closing Gitmo with releasing military detainees. There's also the question whether their conditions of confinement will be better or worse in the United States. I think probably worse based on all the proposals I've seen. But if it truly is a strategic problem and we really can find a replacement uh, then that would lessen the problem, which I'm doubtful of, then I would say yes. And it's also an image problem and reputation problem. But it might be a reputation problem as well if we just transfer 150 people to um, maximum security prisons in the United States. It might not just be the location that's the problem. That's what I want to suggest. Good point. Mr. Roth. I agree with that. I mean, I think creating Guantanamo North is not the answer. Um, we should prosecute as many as possible in, in regular court and then release the rest. There may be some risk involved in that, but there are a lot of people around the world who hate the United States um, who are not detained. There's just a group of legacy detainees in Guantanamo who happen to be detained and everybody's afraid to release them. But I think that their continued detention, as the President has pointed out, is at this stage doing more harm than good. If they're a real threat, prosecute them. Um, otherwise, I think this continued stain on America's reputation is not doing us any good. Uh, yes, Senator, I think it should be closed uh, with two provisos. One, um, an, a, a, a very sober assessment, legal assessment and political assessment of what additional rights or privileges they would have here in the United States and we could hold them under the law of armed conflict. And two, with the very bare understanding that closing Gitmo still won't cause Al-Qaeda to love us. Uh, there was no Gitmo before 9-11. There was no Gitmo during the coal bombing. I thank you, Mr. Chairman. I thank you for your indulgence.